Hello, my name is Edward Hunter and welcome to Baden-Württemberg for the third round of the 2024 Formula Sim Racing World Championship, the German Grand Prix. Here's all the news you need to know. Optimal Esports have signed podium finishing British driver Matthew Williams to partner Ruven Machete at the Dutch team for the remainder of the season. Jernay Simoncic took his 30th career pole position and led away at the start from race clutches Jake Denahan. Janik Bock defended third from Manuel Bianca Lida as Owen McGorgi made a strong getaway to clear Jan Grankvist and then went all the way around the outside of Matthew Williams. Meanwhile, Denahan slipstream Simoncic through the Parabolica to snatch a lead at the hairpin as Bianca Lila did likewise to slot himself ahead of Bock. On lap 2, Matthias Stari hit the back of Giordano Valeriano, causing the Swede to lose his front wing and necessitating a trip to the pit lane. Things got worse on lap 7 as he pushed too wide through the Mobile 1 curve, causing him to spin and crash out of the race. On lap 8, Bock tried to go around the outside of Bianca Lila, but the VEM driver defended the inside. The following lap, Bock attempted a carbon copy move, but the Evo was again repelled by the Italian. It was then a premature end for George Salagianis as the ground effect driver was disconnected from 20th. By lap 14, the medium tyres had started to fade and Simoncic flew past Denahan on the hard tyres to retake the lead. Matthew Williams was the first to pit a lap later as he attempted to use the undercut. Bock then made a third attempt to get through and was once more blocked by Bianca Lila into the hairpin. Meanwhile, Dennis Jordan died up the inside of Giannis Braxox Brabham to get into 7th. Denahan and Braxock made their first stops on lap 16, as Bock made yet another attack on Bianca Lila. This time the German was forced out wide and off track. The Evo driver was becoming fed up at this point and Pitt followed in by McGorgie and Crankfist. Bock would re-emerge behind Denahan and Williams as well as a yet to stop Machete. A 360 degree spin on the exit of turn 10 signalled the end of Cosmo Pesciuto's race on a miserable day for Go Team. On lap 18, Jordan pit from third, but it was now Bock on the defensive from soft shod McGorgi. Both Machete and Bock lost control through Mercedes' corner, allowing the race clutch and a grateful Grankfist to nip past the German. Lap 19 and Simoncic pit from the lead, shattered by Bianca Lila and Alex Siebel. Simicic would only just be undercut by Denahan for the lead, as Grankvist then dispensed with the long-running Machete, just as Jordan used the DRS to leapfrog past Bianca Lila. The next lap, it was Bock's turn to finally clear Machete's optimal into the hairpin, getting his Evo back into the top six. Two laps later, it was Machete's teammate Williams who was also struggling, as McGorgie slotted himself up the inside to climb onto the podium. Points leader Grankvist was determined not to let McGorgie escape and he followed him through past Williams a lap later to continue his pursuit. Machete continued to hemorrhage time on his worn tyres and a wild sideways moment at Sudkerb allowed Braxock to slip through into 10th. Then the German was ganged up on and mugged by the Rafa car of Hoyer and the Ferrari of Siebel through the Parabolica. Up front, the cat and mouse game continued as Simoncic again used the superior life of the hard tyres to breeze past Denahan. Worse was to follow for race clutch as Grankvist used the DRS to overcome McGorgie. The Englishman responded by immediately making a second stop for softs, forcing Denahan and Grankvist to respond. The undercut proved crucial as the Super Venturi was jumped by McGorgie as Denahan emerged just in front of Sander Callas. The ground effect driver would quickly see McGorgie fly by as the soft running trio began to make short work of the midfield. Next target for Denahan was Martin Mergerly, who put up no resistance in his Brabham, leaving the door wide open for the charging McGorgie to follow his teammate through as Grankvist cleared Catalyst just behind. On lap 32, Bock was battling away for second with Williams, completing the move by sweeping around the outside of the Englishman through turn 7. Optimal responded by immediately pitting Williams at the end of the lap, putting him onto another set of hard tyres. Immediately, the Brit was back on the move, flying past Giordano Valeriano's VAM, before then catching and passing Callas two laps later. Denahan, meanwhile, had caught Siebel and dragged his teammate McGorgie along with him, 
to clear the Ferrari for third. Rankfist, meanwhile, would have to wait for his turn to pass Siebel on the following tour. Simicic then came in for his second stop from the lead, re-emerging behind Siebel on his third set of hards. On lap 39, Grankfist put a move on Magorgi through Parabolica to once more split the race clutch cars. Machete had a frightening spin at turn one, where he was narrowly avoided by the Super Venturi of Lalu just behind him. Magorgi then made a third pit stop on lap 41 to try and get another undercut. This forced Denhan and Grankvist to respond a lap later with stops of their own, and this time McGorgi jumped the pair of them. Bianca Lila then pitted the end of the following lap. He would be running hard tyres to the end of the race as he resurfaced in 10th. Hoyer was now a sitting duck for the soft tyre trio, with first McGorgi speeding by, followed a lap later by Denahan and then the Super Venturi of Grankvist. On lap 48, McGorgie and company had caught Williams, but the optimal driver was given a drive-through penalty for exceeding track limits just once too often, releasing the trio to duke it out. And duke it out they did, as Denahan locked up avoiding his teammate allowing Grankvist to insert himself into fifth. Denahan refused to take this sitting down though, and launched a counter-attack the following lap. This time McGorgie gave him plenty of slipstream which the Irishman used to good effect to get back through, but all this battling was costing them valuable time as Valiano cleared Siebel for 8th. Bock pit for the final time ahead of Jordan on lap 52, but a slow stop meant that he came out behind. This was followed by Grankfist and McGorgie's 4th and final stops two laps later as the pair came out alongside Hoyer, who was promptly dealt with by both drivers. Denahan pitted a lap later and would come out just behind his teammate. Bock used his pace to repass Jordan as the two race clutch drivers exchanged places behind. Simicic made his last stop onto the softs with 11 laps to go, with only Bianca Lila left to clear. The Slovenian wasted no time, and two laps later he was breezing around the outside to retake a lead he would not lose. Mergerly then lost his front wing along with his mind as he drove into Williams in a moment of road rage, not the Hungarian's finest hour. Jordan used the DRS to make a late dive on Bock on the penultimate lap of the hairpin, but he unfortunately oversteered on exit, allowing the Evo to sweep back around the outside as Bianca Lee's second place was tantalizingly within reach. The Italian defended like crazy on the final lap, as Bianca Lila forced the German to go the long way around. He again forced the Evo off track, which would be investigated after the race. But it was a strategic masterclass from Simoncic who came through to take his 30th victory and to put his title aspirations back on track after a rocky start to the season. Bock was promoted to the runners up spot as Bianca Lila lost the place for pushing him off track twice at the hairpin. Jordan just missed out on the podium in fourth. Denahan, McGorgie, and Grandfries were undone by the four stop strategy. Siebel was eighth ahead of Hoyer and Williams recovered to 10th on his return. Braxock just missed out on the top 10 for the second race in a row, with the points finishes being rounded out by Callas, Lali, Valeriano and Machete, who scored his first points to make it a double score day for Optimal. Philip Pushke was 16th, the net Rexes of Van Vukas and Mercedes were a lap down in 17th and 18th. Maguli received a race ban for his late crash with Williams, as Pashuto, Zalagianis and Starry were all eliminated from the running early on. The Drivers' Championship is now tied for the lead between Bock and Bianca Lila, both on 51 points each. Denahan has fallen to third, just four points adrift, and two ahead of Grankvist in fourth, whilst McGorgie is right behind in fifth. Simicic's win means he's just six points further back, as only 14 points separate the top six. Jordan is down in seventh ahead of Braxock, whilst Hoyer and Siebel round out the top ten. Race Clutch have extended their lead in the team's championship to 29 points, but the fight for second is hotting up as Rafa shoot up to third, just three points behind VEM. Super Venturi are four points back in fourth, and two ahead of Evo. Ferrari are another three points back in sixth, as Brabham fall down to seventh. Grand Effects still lead the fight for eighth, but it's tight between Netrex, Go Team, and Optimal, with the last two being equal on seven points each. So Simoncic gets his mojo back, and for the third season in a row, the first three races see three different winners. Can Simoncic start to build some momentum, or will Denahan and McGorgie retake control? Or will the consistency of Bock and Bianca Lida outfox them all? We'll find out in Singapore on the 14th of April, but from me, Edward Hunter, in the historic Hockenheim ring, it's goodbye for now.